reason I got your bipod so high up okay. is because we have to make sure you get your shoulder in the right spot. Not all of us are freaking five-year-old schoolgirls, so don't be afraid to use the bipod if it gives you the good spot. Don't worry about the bag. When we get to the bag part, your thumb will be on the stock. Your fingers will be on the bag, squeezing them, right? And you can use it like steps. Find the right spot, lock it down, right? 95%, 5%. Got it. Okay, so what I want right now is you will get in the position just like me. I stand behind the rifle. Anytime I'm going to shoot a target, I'm going to aim the rifle first. Then I can crawl into position. Here, lift. Bring my body up. See where I got this thing? Yep. I could feel it on my jaw. I'm near touching your ear. Grab, just a grip, elbow down. Now to change my height. just widen my elbows but my butt sock never changes positions right I'm not doing this because what's happening to my face it's getting closer right and now I'm cranking my neck to try and see bring it up collarbone settle down here good to go yep there yep now keep that in place mm -hmm. lift your head and set it on the cheek piece that's it right there every single time that's what it should feel like first we got to set this thing so that you can see through it max power now again we don't have the cheek piece set so you're going to have to lift or drop your head to see but we want a full picture all the way around no shadowing full picture it looks good yep okay now i'm going to move it just to test it out now I'm getting some shot. All right, I'm gonna come back towards you. Bingo. You like that? Yep. All right, cool. Alignment looks good. Now we can lock it down. Go ahead and set it down. The rings, they naturally have a gap on each side. Yep. Okay? We wanna try and keep those gaps even because that ensures us that we are applying pressure straight down. Okay, so again, we're just gonna tighten them till they bite. Bubbles are still lined up. So now we can go to our torque wrench. And again, we're only doing like five pounds or yeah, five inch pounds per crank. Make sure even. We're going to go to 25. Okay. We're gonna check to make sure we're not over tightening. Spins just fine. There's no hitches, there's no sticky points. Gotcha. So we know it's not over tight. But you're gonna have to lift the cheek piece. Again, we don't wanna force your head down, but we want it to hold your head up. You like where it's at? Yep. All right, so cheek piece is set. Now, remember what I said earlier, right? Mark it. Mark. Mark that, mark that, mark that, mark that, and then cheek piece on the bottom. These guys right here, they should be 55 to 65 inch pounds. Now this rifle is set up and ready to go. So with the Schmitz, I used to have a few of them, I sold them all, but so it's on zero right now. Yeah. So we zero at 100, bang, 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 make our adjustments, bang, bang, bang. Now, we want the scope to say zero. Whatever our zero range is, we gotta zero the scope to say zero. Here and here. Loosen those up, not all the way, just break the tension. The scope will still click on a Schmidt and Bender, but it's not adjusting anything. Set it back to zero, tighten those down, done. Gotcha. Same thing with the Leupold. There's two screws, loosen those up, the cap will spin back to zero with no clicks. Tighten it down, it's zero. When I look through the barrel, mm -hmm. right, because I'm bore siding right now without a laser. Yep. How do I know I'm looking through the center of that barrel? Because I could have parallax. At the end of the barrel, you see your field of view. Whatever I'm looking at, I see that. Then I see the barrel, which forms a circle. Then I see the chamber, which forms a circle. So I have three circles, big, medium, small, even all the way around. That tells me I'm looking through the center of the barrel. Right? I got the barrel lined up on the far right of the target board. To me, that looks center. Now I look through the reticle. Two and a half mils low, three and a half mils right. Well, I have to dial the opposite direction. So, you gotta see what I see. Don't touch the rifle. Look through the barrel, line up those three circles. Tell me what you see. Top of that right post. All right, now look through the scope. Gotcha. Looks good, yeah? yeah? Well, at least we'll be on paper now. We won't waste bullets. What I want you to do is hopefully we're on paper, 
but I want you to aim for the middle of that paper. And hopefully you're on and we can adjust you from there, okay? Who's shooting, you or the rifle? All right, so don't let the rifle tell you what to do. <clears throat> Never come down to the rifle, always bring the rifle up to you. And if the buttstock is sitting too low, then you adjust. Now I want you to feel that trigger, feel everything about it. Stare at that crosshair, inhale, exhale, remember your pause. Don't move. Where'd the crosshair go? Up about three feet. Okay, where else? To the left of it. You're to the left of it, okay? So let's talk about up and down first. What's gonna drive that fucking muzzle up? Me not having it seated in my shoulder correctly. Okay, and not using enough rear bag. What's gonna make it go left? Understand your body, feel that shoulder? Yep. That's a ball. So okay. if the corner of the buttstock is touching that ball, you drive the muzzle left. Gotcha. So that needs to get closer to your neckline. All right, aim center of that diamond for me. Take a good shot. Finger on trigger, 90 degrees, feel the trigger. Slow, straight press back. Okay, your recoil looked way better on that shot. Same thing. The exact same thing that you did. Good buttstock placement. Check your point of aim, your natural point of aim. Relax. Make that bag do work. You're going to breathe. Relax. Focus on that crosshair. Feel your trigger. Recall. 0.8. So we got horizontal stringing. Okay, so that's body alignment inconsistent and trigger press. Now, check it out. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Do we care that the target is clear or that the reticle doesn't move regardless of where your head's at? That the reticle doesn't move regardless where my head's at. All right, so depending on the scope, you may have a blurry target. You might have a blurry target because of Mirage. Yeah. Focus on that reticle. Six mils right. Five mils high. All right. How does Mike Tyson punch? Dead on. Dead on? Like, but how? Hard. Standing here like this, right? Yeah. And he fucking... Full force into you. Full force into you. Okay. Whereas Bruce Lee is the master of one inch punch, right? You're Mike Tysoning the trigger. Got it. You're going from here to... Wham! Where it needs to be, Bruce Lee, uh, make sense? Okay. Slow down on the trigger. Make sure you take the time to feel that your finger goes on the trigger and press. So just like pistols, almost hit the wall, wait. Exactly like that. Okay. okay. This internal circle here, right? Yep. That is one inch. Okay. That is also at 100 yards, one MOA, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in a full circle, okay, there are 21,600 minutes all the way around. Okay. There is also 6,328 mils. When we divide these two, we get 0.3 mils equals 1 MOA. Does that make sense? Yep. So this measures out 1 MOA, which also, if you were to put your crosshair here and measure to there, it would be 0.3. Check. Yep. So now we look at rifle, optic, ammo, shooter. So if the complete system is 0.3 or one MOA, right? Mm -hmm. And your first shot was dead center. Your second shot was 0.2 right. Let's say we took a third shot and you're 0.2 high. Are you within one MOA. the system's capability? Which is yes. Makes sense, right? Yep. So we don't want to chase zeros if the rifle and the shooter and everything co put combined puts you at that, right? So now, if you were to go and shoot Paul's rifle, his ammo is loaded for his gun. Got it. His gun will shoot that. If he were to shoot here, here, and here, we know that something's not working right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, but you're inside that grouping. It's a factory gun. Ammo not loaded for the gun, scope, shooter, 
still working the fundamentals. If we're inside that point three or that one MOA, you're happy. solid. Yeah. Hell yeah. I can't, okay. I can't spare so let's not chase all over the place. I got you. Because we're doing good. On target. Your zero is fucking great. <laughs>